So let's check in with Leah Pizzetti. Some of the mountains surely got some snow after today. We got a lot of rain today. Mm -hmm. Not quite ready to open. <laughs> Not quite yet. We still have some time. Yes. yes. We need a couple more storms like this and then mm -hmm, it's going to be. And snow yeah, runners. I feel like they're really looking forward to it. So yeah, that's good news. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, just a yeah. couple weeks out, hopefully. Seriously, just a few more storms like this will be good. Uh, we're pretty much done with this one. We are going to continue to track some lingering wind and also we'll pick up a few more inches in the mountains. Uh, I'll get to that in just a moment, but first let's take a couple live looks outside. Uh, we see in Everett, we do still have some cloud coverage out there. We have some light showers rolling through up to the north, but down south, the sky is blue. We are pretty much done out there in the rain department, uh, but we are going to continue to see some strong wind picking up uh, this afternoon. The worst of the wind is over. It'll just be a breezy afternoon and evening for us. So for the remainder of today, let's take a closer look at that. We're going to continue to see some light sprinkles possible. This is a loop of this morning. We saw that front move through. It brought with it with it that uh, strong rain, that widespread pockets of moderate to even heavy rainfall. As of right now, we're pretty much done, but we do see some light showers rolling in up to the north. Let's take a closer look at that. Looks like passing through Bellingham right now, actually heading down to the south toward Mount Vernon. So Mount Vernon, you'll see some sprinkles uh, tapping on your windows here shortly. Uh, around Snohomish County, we're also seeing some light sprinkles, mostly off to the east, though. Uh, and taking a look down south, that's where we see that sunshine. Kitsap Peninsula, South Sound, you're pretty much done in the rain department. So into this afternoon, we will continue to see some showers and moisture, mostly up to the north, central uh, sound, central cascades, and the north of that. We'll mix in some rain and snow depending on where you are and what time of day. We'll show you that in a moment, but let's take a look at this evening, 9 p.m. We're starting to taper off. At this point, that is when we're going to start to lower snow levels down closer to around Snoqualmie. So Snoqualmie could see an inch or two of snow, but really we'll keep the snow for our higher elevation. Same thing into overnight tonight. We'll lose a lot of that moisture, but at that point, we're going to lower our snow levels. So let's talk about wind because wind is not done yet. This is 430 in the afternoon and we see it is still blustery out there. Uh, we did see gusts in the 50, 60 mile per hour zone. Those are done. At this point this afternoon, we're talking up to about 40 mile per hour gusts. So still blustery, especially through the straight, uh, but the worst of the wind is over. Even into later this evening, we'll still hang on to breezy conditions at that point will be in the 20 25 mile per hour gust range. This is 930 PM here. It's really not until tomorrow morning that will start to calm things down in the wind department. So the worst is over with the wind, but we're not quite done yet. So for this afternoon for the lowlands, we'll actually see the sun continuing. It'll be a really pleasant afternoon and pleasant evening, but it is a different situation in the mountains. Here's a couple live looks outside from Snoqualmie and Stevens Pass. It does look like Snoqualmie did allow for a little bit of a dusting of snow, uh, but Stevens and above is where we're tracking the more significant snow. So we can see that from Stevens Pass, an hourly breakdown for this evening. We're hovering right around freezing and then below freezing. So yes, we'll keep that snow door open for Stevens, but Snoqualmie is a different situation. Temperatures are just above freezing, so it is going to try to snow, but it's going to be really hard for a lot of that to stick because it's just a little bit too warm for that. So expected additional snow totals for places like Baker and Stevens, upwards of five to six additional inches. Snoqualmie, you'll be lucky if you get one to two inches of snow in addition to what we've already seen. Temperatures for today are going to stay right around where we are right now. So mid fifties are expected for today. Then we can take a little bit of a deep breath into tomorrow. We will uh, keep some of that light moisture tomorrow morning. Looks like a convergent zone sets up. So a couple light sprinkles are possible. A little bit of some rain brushes by over along the coast, but really today was the exciting day. As we look forward into the next couple of days, we'll actually see some dry days, morning fog to afternoon sunshine through about Thursday, Friday evening is when we'll bring some rain back into the equation. And let's get straight to your first alert forecast. I want to show you a live view from Bellingham. The sun set about half an hour ago, but we do still have some lingering daylight out there, along with some pretty ominous clouds up to the north. The worst of our impactful weather is now behind us. However, we are still holding on to some lingering wind, and we are continuing to track uh, mountain snow chances into our overnight hours. So here are our current gusts. Whidbey Island is still seeing gusts around 55 miles per hour through the straight. We're right around that 30 mile per hour threshold, so it is still blustery out there, especially up to the north. We will hold on to strong wind for a few more hours. Here we are uh, in the next hour or so, and it's a similar situation, 20 to 30 to upwards of 40 mile per hour gusts. 
It's not until later this evening, this is just before midnight, that we will start to taper that wind down. And then overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning that we will finally calm things down in the wind department. We're also continuing to track mountain snow. That is going to stick around into early tomorrow morning, along with a little bit of moisture. Here's a live view from Crystal Mountain. Uh, and you really can't see too much because the snow is flying there. It's about 5,000 feet from that vantage point. I want to show you projections through tomorrow morning for additional snow totals on top of what we've already seen. I think all of this is accurate with the exception of Snoqualmie. I don't think Snoqualmie will hit three and a half inches of snow because we're not dropping snow levels down to Snoqualmie until later on this evening. Stevens Pass, I do expect to hit four inches of snow. Baker I could actually surpass two. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw closer to five inches of snow around Baker. Uh, so let's take a look at that snow for this evening. Here we are just after midnight tonight, and we do continue to have pockets of snow showers over our Cascades. That continues into early tomorrow morning. In fact, we'll drop some of that down into the lowlands. A convergent zone sets up. So for you drivers around the King Snohomish County line, do get ready for some sprinkles tomorrow morning uh, for your morning commute. Then into the afternoon, we'll keep some rain in the forecast for our coastal communities and then down south closer to that Oregon border as the system brushes bright to the south. Same thing into tomorrow evening. Uh, but overall, tomorrow will be a dry day and we'll actually see the sun peeking out into the afternoon with temperatures right around that 50 degree low 50s uh, for tomorrow. So that is the situation for tomorrow and really beyond that we're going to calm things down. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Wednesday, Thursday and into Friday morning we'll see really mild conditions. We'll start the day with morning fog and then we'll see the sunshine peeking out into the afternoon each day. Then into Friday night that's when we'll bring some rain chances back into the weekend as well.